everyone, welcome to Art Club and I'm Miss Liz and today we're going to be making this super cute Zazzy Zebra. You may notice that his head is a little bit wobbly and that's because we're going to have a 3D effect on here and it's going to be super fun. So if you registered for this program, you will have already picked up your kit and if you did not register for this program but you want to make your own Zazzy Zebra, you can certainly use your own supplies from home. So the first thing that you're gonna need is a large piece of construction paper. The kit has uh, different shades of blue or green. A large white piece of construction paper. Half, half of the sheet of the large one, so you can draw the head. This green construction paper is gonna be for your grass. You're going to need a glue stick, a Sharpie and something from home that's not included in the in the kit is a pencil. All right, so how do we draw a zebra? Let me do my best to show you a very simple way to draw the head of the zebra. There are many different ways that you can draw a zebra, um, but I think this one's going to work best for us today. So grab your pencil and your smallest piece of white paper and let's get started drawing the head. So this is gonna be the top of my paper and this is gonna be the bottom. Now sometimes when I'm drawing stuff and filming it, it flips it around and turns it different directions. So just uh, follow along as best you can. So I'm gonna draw a line down the center of the paper. I'm not gonna go all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom. And I'm gonna try to draw a little bit um, harder so you can see that line. If you wanna draw, draw softer, then that's okay too. Um, when you're all done, you might wanna erase a little bit of your uh, lines if they're, if they're still showing. But to be honest, some of the lines on my sample zebra are still on there, but from a distance, you really can't see them. So draw your line. It's not perfectly straight. That's completely fine. And then I'm going to do a little bit of a, um, not a straight line across, but I'm gonna curve it down, almost like an umbrella. And one on each side, like that. And then I'm gonna draw a straight line at the bottom here. It's not gonna go quite as far as, as this curved line. And this is gonna be shaped where this is the horse's nose. So let's just go out a little bit like that. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach this end to this end and this end to this end. So it's going to look like it gets a little bit smaller as you go down towards the bottom of the paper. All right. So now you're going to notice that, you know, mine is not identical on each side. They're not symmetrical. It's fine. If, if you want to erase and you have a good eraser on your um, pencil, you can do that. But most of the time, I am not going to redo that. I'm just going to keep going. No zebra is completely perfect, just like any other piece of art that we make. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is add two lines up at the top that's going to be the start of the ears and they're going to go out just a little bit on an angle actually let's do that a little bit over well, i'm going to fix this like i said you can fix it if you want but i want my one i'm showing you to be as close as i can so there we go like that. The next thing we're going to do is draw a line going down here and down here. And this is where we're starting to draw the muzzle or the nose. And then we'll go on an angle this way, this way, and then like this. All right, so this is all gonna be co colored in black with our Sharpie. So if you wanna play around with that a little bit and get it in the exact shape that you like, that's fine. You can also do it later with your Sharpie 
And I'll show you that trick too when we're drawing in the zebra stripes. Now we're going to draw in the eyes. I like to have mine a little bit uh, on an angle rather than a circle. I don't, I don't know, like, like this. So just kind of, you don't have to fill that in right now. This is just your basic um, eye. We can adjust that later. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw almost like a parentheses around there, like that. And then we're gonna attach the tops up here. Just like that. And then we're going to take this one and attach down here. So we're going to draw straight down and down. So that gives the look of some dimension on our zebra. All right. So this will be all colored in with black for his muzzle. Let's go ahead and finish up those ears. So zebras have uh, not pointy ears like a horse, but a little bit uh, curved. So we're gonna go like this. And some zebras even have taller ears, shorter ears. Whatever you draw on your zebra is perfect. So like that. And then some of this is gonna be colored in as well. And that's gonna be our next step when we get out our Sharpie. So let's go ahead and start drawing in some ideas of how we wanna make our zebra's lines. Now, I know he doesn't look like much right now, but once we start actually putting the Sharpie on there, you're gonna be amazed at how, how beautiful it looks. So zebras usually have uh, some kind of, mm, I don't know, I'm gonna say like a diamond kind of look right here in the middle when you're looking at them. And then the sides go out like that. Uh, I, none of our zebras are gonna look the same. Some of us are gonna have really thin lines. Some of us are gonna have thick lines. Um, a zebra can have a mixture of everything. So if, if you, Want to be creative? Just go ahead and start drawing those lines on there. You're welcome to look at pictures of zebras. You're welcome to rewind the video and see what um, this Zazzy zebra looks like. But let's go ahead and get started drawing those lines. I'm going to start uh, about right here. And I'm going to just start making not straight, straight lines, but I'm going to do an almost triangle like that other zebra. And we will make this these thicker as we go with our um, Sharpie. Let's see. And you'll notice I didn't make them symmetrical. And that's what's gonna give him this really unique look. Now you notice this one, I don't have as many squiggly lines. That's okay, we can add those later because once we put that sharpie on there it might make it look like it's just a straight line and that's really not what we're going for so we can add and play with that later i'm going to do one more i think around here and i'm going to end over here instead of drawing all the way down so it's really just a matter of how you would like your zebra to look now i'm going to start at the top and start drawing some of his lines up here on the forehead area. I'm gonna stop right here, not too close to the eye, because I might make this a little bit wider, or bolder, I should say. And this one, I'm starting off of this top line. All right, so now, we're ready to do the sides. So we're gonna go off of the bottom of this kind of triangle shape and just go to the side. They don't have to go straight across. Some can go up, some can go to the side, to the, and some can go down. This one got a little squiggly. I think that's gonna turn out pretty neat. 
If you've got any that look like that, just leave them and we'll, we'll work on them together. All right, we're also gonna put his mane up here and only up here at the top. Because when we make his body on our sample, we're just gonna go like this. So go ahead, make his mane, and we will definitely color that in with our Sharpie. All right, so let's go ahead and start doing some of these lines. Let's start with his eyes. Go ahead, fill that in. I think I'm gonna make this a little bit bolder. So his eyes stand out. Not sure why I'm calling my zebra a he, but I am. There. All right, now let's do the outline of his head. You can see that sometimes I have a hard time following that, that line and tracing, completely okay. Don't worry about it if you do that too. All right, so I'm gonna fill his nose in. I'm gonna switch out my Sharpie. I seem to have picked up one that's older, but you're gonna have new Sharpies in your kit. So don't worry about that. All right, there we go. So let's start doing some of these stripes and we'll start at the top and work our way down. All right, so you can see on this one, I've got thicker up here and then it gets thin. So I'm going to just take this guideline and I'm going to just add to it so the zebra doesn't just have all these like straight lines. Adding some here and a little bit here. Let's see. So you see here is my original line where I was drawing the dimension of the face. Just leave that there. Don't color on that one. This is another one that looks a little bit straight, so I'm gonna give it a little bit more thickness here. I'm sure you're wondering how this is gonna look with this line down the center. So let me start doing some on the other side and you'll see how it just takes shape really nicely. So I am gonna draw, I, I know I said don't do here or here, but I'm gonna draw a little bit of a line down here, make it a little squiggly. So it looks better when you're attaching some of these or the look of attaching. Let's see. Let's see how you just add add to it, make it look a little bit thicker. Go ahead, get creative. We're gonna take his nose and kind of make the muzzle go up a little bit so it's not such a straight line here. Go ahead and do that, and maybe a little bit like that. All right, I'm gonna stop right there for now, and then we can go back and decide if we want to make any more lines thicker. Maybe I'll make this one a little thicker here or if we want to add a couple here and there. Let's go ahead, color in our mane and then our ears. Now you're welcome to color in 
just the center of the ears here, or you can color in um, just one part here. So I think just so you can see something different, I'm gonna do the center, but you're, you can do ears this way or the other way. So I'm gonna do this and color that in. Seam over here. But I will outline this. This guy's ears are pretty big. How do your ears look? And then we'll just make sure you have some of his mane going up, some a little bit shorter, some a little bit taller, so it looks a little bit more natural. And I think I'm going to touch up his eyes a little bit. There we go. He's looking pretty good. I did forget to mention that you do need a pair of scissors because we're going to cut out his head. So when you have your zebra the way you want him, go ahead, start cutting out his head. For our next step, we need our large piece of white paper. This is a little tricky. Um, we're just gonna try to draw the zebra's uh, part of his neck going into the back. So I'm gonna use this as the ending point for his back and just kind of give it a little bit of curve in up for the neck and then we're going to leave a little bit of a distance maybe about this much and we're going to go down like that i know that doesn't look like much but at some point it's going to fit together really nicely with our our uh, zebra head so let's go ahead cut this out and we'll trim it as needed once we get it onto our colored construction paper. So this is what the look that we're going for. So this looks a little bit too big, but I think that's gonna be fine. My curve is a little different than my original sample. That's perfectly fine too. And we wanna make this just a little bit shorter, but let's see what it looks like with our zebra head. So we're gonna put the head about right here. So we're gonna wanna cut off about this much. All right, does that make sense? So let's cut this off and see how it looks. I think that looks pretty good. So you'll want a similar shape to this, all right? So let's go ahead and glue this on and we'll draw our stripes once it's glued on. So flip it over, add a lot of glue on there. Okay. It doesn't have to go all the way to the bottom. All right, there we go. See how that's gonna look? Great. All right, the next thing we wanna do is draw their stripes on their body. 
And let me show you again how that other one looked. So I did not draw straight stripes. I made some nice little curves. So however you would like your zebra to look, let's go ahead and start. Let's try putting on maybe five or six stripes to begin with. And then we'll determine if we need to add any more. I'm gonna fill all that in. I'm gonna make one like this. I'm gonna make this one go off to the side. And then I'm gonna do a couple up here just in case that shows when, when the head is moving around. All right, so go ahead and let's start filling these in. Turn this around so it's a little bit easier for me to draw. My arm is starting to hurt. How about yours? <laughs> Trying to get all this in. There we go. See how that's looking so far? Take a look at your zebra and decide, do you want to um, fix anything, add a little bit more color of the black, make it bolder? Um, do you wanna add any more stripes? I'm pretty happy with the way mine looks right now. I might go back later and color in some of this white that's showing. But I think if you're gonna change anything on the head, I would do that now before we glue that on. Let's go ahead and take a look and we'll add our mane along here. And it's just a bunch of lines. You can go all the way to the end of the paper. There we go. If some of these lines go down. I was in a little bit of a hurry there. There we go. All right, our next step is to create the grass that's going to be at the bottom of our paper. I did this with a ripping technique. So we're gonna try to rip thin pieces of green construction paper and then we're gonna glue them on. So don't, don't do anything with the head yet. Let's work on the bottom here. So you're just gonna take your green construction paper and after that first big rip, it's a little bit harder and you have to try to guide your strips a little bit. You only wanna have some long ones, some short ones. You can decide if you want them to be thick or thin. I'm gonna rip this part and make this top a little bit thinner because typically grass is a little thicker on the bottom than it is on the top. So go ahead and work on that. And then we're just gonna use our glue stick and glue it on. I'm just pinching it with my, my finger and my thumb and just ripping it. You can play around with it and see what works best 
for you. I'm gonna lay them out first before I glue them on. And I think I'm gonna take mine all the way across. So it looks like he's out in a field of grass. So this one's a little wider. So let's go ahead, rip that one a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna put one more on there. You can put as much as you like. So let's go ahead. This is how we're gonna glue it on. that one turned out. If you've got any that cross over on each other, that looks nice. There we go. All right, our next step is to make something on the back of this head to get it to stand up and give that 3D effect. So on my sample, I just cut a couple of strips of my leftover paper. Let's see, I'll probably do it about this thick. And this might be bigger than we really need, but we'll have to play around and it, and it really depends too on how big you made your zebra head. So I just did a little bit of a uh, accordion style folds. So I'm folding this way, and then this way, and this way, and this way. So let me show you what happens when you do that. It makes this. So if we glue the top to the back of the zebra head and the bottom to our paper, that should give us the look that we're going for. I think this one is a little bit too long, so I'm going to cut some of it off. So this is what I've got here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna make two of these about the same length. So let's measure that up. Cause we're gonna put one on the, towards the bottom of the zebra head and one towards the top of the zebra head. And that will give it a little bit more um, stability so it doesn't fall off. All right. So let's turn our zebra heads over. We're going to put glue on this part here. And we're gonna glue it down. And then the other one. And we're gonna let that dry before we glue it on the other part. This even might be too long, we'll have to see. Maybe not. But let's let that dry before we add glue on here and, and add it to our paper. How about while that's drying, you can take your Sharpie and you can go around and add more stripes. I think I'm gonna add one over here. Looks like it's going farther down his back. If you've got any white showing, you can go ahead and fill that in. You can add more grass if you like. If you have uh, different things at home, you're welcome to make a sun up, at, up there. All right, so I think it's dry enough. So let's go ahead and add some glue right on here right on the top. 
and then we're gonna figure out where we want our head. It can go this way, it can go this way, but you wanna cover up this part of the body that just ends right there. So I'm gonna try for right there, and I'm just gonna hold it down, give it, press it down, and give that a chance to dry. Go ahead and do that for, you know, maybe a minute. All right, how did yours turn out? There's mine. Let's see how his head's perfectly sticking out, giving that 3D a look. There's my grass. It looks pretty cute, pretty zazzy. So I hope you had fun and enjoyed Art Club today. And I'd love to see what your Zazzy Zebras look like. If you want to share them with me, you can send them to youth at newlenoxlibrary.org or you can post them in the comment section of the Facebook post containing this video. Thanks again for joining me and I hope to see you soon at the library. Bye-bye.